Hello everyone, I'm Nintendo Nature 3000 here on the SRNM network. And I'm here for episode 2 of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, so we're going to try and complete the second half of the world in this game. In this game? In this uh, episode. Uh, starting with here. Let's go. A couple more levels, but uh, we should still be able to do it. Um, let's go. Straight away, uh, oh, sliding. Sliding is just so fun in Mario games. Uh, don't know why, it's just so really satisfying about sliding on your butt. And they're just coins, that was very disappointing. Monty moles are just horrible. Uh, I think they're Monty's. Is it Monty? I'm just gonna call them Monty anyway. These enemies are absolutely the devil in disguise. Well, not even in disguise, you can just see they're the devil. Especially when you're on um, Yoshi levels, when they're coming out from all levels. Ah, speaking of, Yoshi. Um, they, sometimes they just knock off your Yoshi and your Yoshi walks off the edge. This is annoying. And if you didn't know, which you probably would, because most of your Nintendo nerds like me probably, if you eat uh, five of these berries, you get a lovely little uh, item. We've uh, only got three so far, so um, that's cool. And you actually get a little bar to show you how much you've done in this level rather than... Oh, it's up here. No, it's coins, okay, that's disappointing. Again, lots of disappointments here. No, it's ground pounds here. But anyway, yeah, you get a little meter to show you your progress rather than little numbers that came up in the uh, original uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Did Yoshi's appear in Super Mario Bros. Uh, is it 2? Super Mar New Super Mario Bros. 2, is it? The 3DS one. I've never actually played that. I thought it was good, but to be honest, uh, it's just a, it's not doesn't seem to do much other than the other basic Mario formula. And I have other games I need to buy, like uh, I didn't even buy 3D Land actually. I never bought that. I bought it for friends. I completed it within uh, about eight hours actually. 100% completed it because it was kind of easy, even with the extra worlds. But it's still really fun. So good game. 3D World is amazing, Robert. And let's try and see if we can do something cool again. No, because I completely messed it up. Oh, see, this is what I mean by the mole set. There you go. Knock you off Yoshi and you've got to run back to get him. Uh, do a spin jump like a boss. No, I need one coin left. Guess I'll try to be quick then and rush through this level. Slide like it. Yoshi's sliding animation just looks so weird. Uh, it's like odd about it. Uh, what item is that? Ice flower. I will keep my fire flower, thank you very much. Um, I need to know I don't have to worry about secret exits anymore. I can just rush to the finish and hopefully find the coin. If I remember correctly, it's down a little pipe in one of these. I think this is when you go to the multiple levels, these get annoying. Is it down here? No, I'm not going to risk it. No! Okay. I will sacrifice you for my new Yoshi. This Yoshi's nicer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't go too well. Um, yeah, that wasn't where the secret exit is. Uh, Star coin, even. Somewhere along here, I'm going to guess. I these Monty, bloody Monty Moles! Go die in a hole! Funny fact, if you eat the fire plant, plant you can actually steal its uh, fire and... No, oh, maybe it was there. Uh, I'll be back in a second, guys! <laughs> oh, the irony! It was actually down here! Should have trusted my gut down that one. Um, there you go, just a simple flower jump to get. Don't even need a flower jump, just jump. <laughs> well, I look a bit stupid there. Bet you guys watching are probably like, what are you doing? The secret coin is down there. A secret coin, the star coin. Oh, I feel like a dunce now. Oh, and great. Yeah, I did lose, I did lose my uh, fire flower because these bloody moles, um, you know, fireball, to, fire to the face. You can take that and you can die in the hole. So you can also eat the, also eat the fireball that he shoots out as well. Um, just some records. And there you go, it's top of the flagpole. Yeah, there you go. That was the most annoying thing of playing multiplayer. I don't know, I've said there's a lot of annoying things in multiplayer, even though I do actually like it. Um, it's when you, someone gets the flagpole, you're just about to get it, and then you actually, you actually get the flagpole, but it doesn't register it. And whilst your friends have completed the level, you're just standing there in the flagpole, like, what? That's annoying. Um, oh, opportunities. Let's go, let's level first. We're on good time, you've only done like, bearing in mind I have to go back, we've probably only done like three minutes now. Uh, See, if I had a fire flower, that would be quite healthy now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for providing me with this fire flower. I'll use it well. Um, there you go. Even though I didn't imagine you need to kill him, but you might as well just murder everything in sight. This you do need to kill. No idea if it's a secret coin or um, just uh, coins, but you know, I'll find out anyway. No, it's just coins. So basically, if you don't know, if you see a little gap in the wall like that, little indent, that's pretty much where you know there's a uh, something secret there. I'll leave that, because I can. These guys are so... Oh, okay, there you go. There's first coin. A lot of them are in plain sight, especially in the early levels. Um, you just get a couple that are hidden away in these little uh, secret areas. Hammer, I hate you. Nope. 
Die. No. Has that? That hits him. I am sure of it. Anything here? Nah. Didn't think it. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> more fire flowers. You can pretty much uh, not get hit for most of the early worlds. It's pretty easy. Unless you do something stupid like I often do, which is also quite easy. Uh, ah, ah, oh, so close. Yet so far. So, yeah, you go, another five flowers. Let's just hand them out like there's no tomorrow now, so shouldn't have too much to worry. I'm just hoping I don't kill a Koop Trooper that I need for some sort of secret. I don't think I need any. There you go. You could use a Koop Trooper for the secret, but if you're like me and I'll throw with the five balls, you can just do this. And we'll go into it. Um, there you go. You could even just tank the hit if you wanted, but I'd rather not. And you could also just tank the hit here, but once again, I would rather not end up dying. I'm just curious as to when my first death is going to be in this walkthrough. It's probably going to happen earlier than I think. And it's probably going to be not by me um, missing up some really skilled area. It's probably going to be something stupid like a Goomba. Uh, that is just what's going to happen, as you should probably be expected by now. Um, Next coin, where are thou? Ah, that's not a Um, You can just slide over all these. You can kill enemies whilst you're sliding if you didn't know that already! Oh, yeah, secret area. So there are so many random secret areas here. Most of them contain, like, uh, coins, but pretty much... I doubt anyone has actually found all of the secret areas, because there's just so many pointless ones. So I, th I think it's quite nice they have all these little mini areas, but still, it's kind of pointless. Um, could have done a pro triple jump there, but I am not that pro, so I did not. Ah, we got fireworks again. Uh, two, two, two. The one of these levels, I'm just gonna get six, 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 and I'm just gonna be like, oh, and sort of freak out, and then I'll get cursed by the devil and die. That will happen. We're all rooting for you. Take this. I will take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Ah, uh, mushroom. See, the other one gave me a you know acorn mushroom. That's a pretty crappy present. Uh, it's an ordinary mushroom. Then again, Lord knows I'll need them. Casual Josh Jefferson reference, in case any of you watch him. What? I'm pretty much addicted to YouTube at the moment. I pretty much just spend all my days waiting for YouTube video to appear. And I should be studying or advising. No, it's YouTube. And TV, you know, uh, lots of TV stuff. I should get Netflix, especially with that um, possible Zelda series. Um, in case you guys don't know, I am a massive Zelda fan. Um, I'm completely keen out on Zelda, so... Um, Looking forward to hopefully doing a Zelda project at some point. And these guys, baby Yoshis, you just press one, hold down one, or actually it's Y on the gamepad to pick up. And then if you press it, I'll shake with them. They do different things. This one floats. Uh, he doesn't float unlimitedly. Uh, it's quite a lot, but you do have a limit, so do be careful. But do be careful, Peter. I just sounded like a Peter Pan and yeah, <laughs> casual Wendy. Don't even know why this reference Peter Pan, but I did. Probably just talking about Link. Um, Okay, where am I going to go from here? I have no idea. The problem with these levels is you can easily just go on like, go slightly higher up and then end up missing something, a coin that's lower down or vice versa. You can pretty much cheat this level anyway by just flying with Baby Yoshi. I'm probably going to have to go back to find something. Wait, can Baby Yoshi eat enemies? Yes, he does. I remember now. Uh, been a long time. Yeah, Baby Yoshi pretty much eats enemies to walk into. There are some exceptions. I don't mean he eats Koopa Troopers, for example. Um, or plant plants. So be careful with that, but you can. Oh. Oh, oh come on. Yes. Oh, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> Before I died in from it. I don't think this is even a required area. Um, for the record, the green ones. Oh, I'm gonna throw this. Yeah, the green ones are different to the red coins because rather than collect them all in a certain time, you have to collect each individual one in a certain time. So, uh, slightly different, but you just get an item all the same. Um, and that was completely not worth it because I ended up failing. But, uh, something up here? So, I doubt it. Maybe a. Maybe I'll get a, uh, what you call it, fire flower? Not a life, I'll, I'll take a life. Not that I need them. Uh, I'll probably get 99 lives pretty quickly. There you go. I do not have a thing anymore, so I'm just going to have to try and be tank and completely fail that. Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 let's do this. That's not it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. And now I'm going to completely fail this and die. Uh, whoa! Yeah, there we go. There's the first death, and it was something stupid, wasn't it? Should I get the fire flower? Should I get the fire flower? Hey, 
Oh yeah, I've lost my uh, baby now, so that's disappointing. Oh come on, how am I supposed to get that about the Yoshi? Seriously, is there any possible way you can get that without the Yoshi? That's just, that's just cruel. That is very, very cruel, Nintendo. You're sick. Oh come on! So it's come to this already. Cheating. I'm probably still going to die somehow, but we'll see. Um, hopefully it'll go marginally better than before. So my plan is, don't get hit by this Goomba. That would be quite disappointing. And also don't fly into those Goombas. Or whatever they are. Go on, make it, make it, make it, make it! No! 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 Oh. There we go. Don't know why I kept dying on this actually insanely easy level. I'm just going to hopefully pro through this ending. Um, I'll see you guys in a minute. Ah, okay, I'll see you guys right away. Uh, okay, very precise here. Just kill these guys. I should have killed my fire flower last time, but you know, I was kind of an idiot. Um, gently does it, gently does it. Oh dear, yes! Suck it, you stupid freaking plant plants. I will kill everyone you love and I will enjoy every minute of it. I don't care about the top of the flagpole, I will gladly take it. Ah, oh, I mean, I know I was expecting to die earlier, but not that early. <laughs> Second video, oh, second video on an insanely easy level. That, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, just castle to remain. I think if you bump into those, you have to do some fight thing like you did in the uh, original Mario game. So I'm just going to avoid all those. Um, Lenny? Lenny's? <laughs> Lenny. Uh, Lenny is swing back castle. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I'll take my hover acorn mushroom thing back now. Is there something up there? There looks like there should be there is something up here. I think it's just coins for it. It is, that's kinda of disappointing. Uh, oh well, let's take it. And drop down. I think the uh, star coins are pretty easy to find in this game. They're pretty much just on display. And you get once again you get loads of extra acorns. Uh, could have used that with a fire flower in the last game. Oh. But you know, uh had to sort of cheat a bit. Plus I couldn't have got that, what do you call it? Other oh. Oh, did not know about this. I probably did, but I've forgotten completely. This is what I mean, there's so many random areas you would not expect to go. And you can pretty much only find them by accident. They're pretty good with making it so it's easy to find... They give you hints to where the star coins are. So they're not easy, but you do have hints where to go, so you're not just blind. There are so many just completely blind points that you have no idea how you get otherwise. Why am I getting all these? I don't know, I don't need the lives, but... I'm going to do it anyway! That was good. I'll take you one up. What? Oh, that's, that's going to be fun. Don't die here. There you go. This is my general goal not to die. But as you've seen before, it doesn't always work. Okay, this is actually quite easy if you've got a uh, squirrel or two. Otherwise, it is, you have to be sort of ninja. Which I am sadly not. Uh, let's go f follow the arrows pretty much. That's pretty quick. And if you want it, there's a five flower here, which would be much more useful against the boss than a uh, squirrel suit. And again, it can be pretty useful for like clinging on the walls and cheating the uh, section we have to avoid is spinning. And it's quite cool to have this little animation here where you just run up to the, the airship and then you just sort of cannon into it. Somehow just blowing into it gets you into the level, even though there is no actually e entrance, is there there? I, I don't see one, it's pretty much just ram into the spike and impale yourself. Anyway, uh, pretty similar to his one from uh, the first fight, the first game, oops, except he throws bombs this time, which is just brilliant. Oh, there you go. I'm just doing so well, aren't I? And as usual, three hits um, each time they do this, and you just go on, jump over them, and land them again, like that. Yep. I really wish they'd just uh, differentiate a bit from this formula. I mean, it's nice that they're trying to do something different by giving them some items to hold, but it's insanely easy. You can hit them even before they start to attack. I will admit, some of the bosses actually do go a bit different. I think the next ones are something slightly interesting. But still, it would be nice if they did something different than Koopalings, Bowser Jr. and Bowser. Um, I did some sort of... Uh, I'll give New Super Mario Bros. DS this. Even though I don't like it, New Super Mario Bros. DS did include some different fights, which was kind of interesting. Uh, something like that would be much appreciated. And maybe even new worlds. I mean, imagine Mario Galaxy mechanics in like the 2D game for just one world. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, or even just in the special world. No, instead the special worlds have to be freaking annoying roller coaster levels. Ah, roller coaster levels. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna admit, they're annoying, but they are pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, that's it for this world, uh, done already. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for the next episode, whenever it is. I've been Nintendo 3000 on the SRNM Network. Um, see you guys next time. Bye!